Hello YouTube friends! Welcome back to another Maribald Trades Costco haul. I'm going to show you everything that I got this month at Costco. And I will say this haul is a little bit smaller than my usual $400 hauls. So, I stayed on budget. Everyone, round of applause please. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And let's get into the haul. So today we are trying the Teglatelli with grilled white chicken, portobello, and mushroom sauce. So I will definitely let you guys know in a future video if we liked it or if you are interested, leave me a comment down below and after we try it, I will let you know what we thought. So I got a bag of the organic broccoli florets. This is a staple at our house. We tend to get this just about every month and we usually go through the whole thing. It's one bag of broccoli a week, so it works out well for us. I did get a couple of non-food clothing items here, which I'm gonna show you guys. So I did get my daughter a little hooded sweatshirt. Um, it is already getting chilly in the evenings here in Minnesota, believe it or not, and so I wanted to make sure we had a few on hand. So this one, is the one that I got and it's I don't know if you can tell it's not really coming across as sparkles but it's got sparkles in there not just like a heathered design and then I ended up with a couple of these chaser brand shirts um, I got the teal colored one and my mother-in-law picked out the purple it does have a little bit of a button detail on the sleeve um, and then just a nice long tunic style top and they also had a similar version in black but it does have the buttons in the front and this also has the buttons on the sleeves as well again almost not quite tunic length but definitely long enough you could wear with leggings um, so I got, I got the v-neck and the also rounded neck in the turquoise so I like those and I am excited to wear that with leggings this fall and winter we got some tortillas again this is a staple in our house we got some of the French vanilla coffee creamer some whole milk for the little nugget. We got four cheese pizzas, because we do pizza night almost every week. We got some sour cream. We got the cheese slices. These are the Adams Reserve New York Extra Sharp Cheddar, um, and those are a staple as well. Here is something new that we tried. <laughs> Saw these in the store and decided I could not go home without them. These are the apple pie rolls with caramel sauce. So I am very curious to try these out. If you want to know whether or not we liked them, leave me a comment down below and I will answer when we have tried them probably, let's be honest, tonight for dessert after the kids go to bed. I'm making those. Then we got some of the organic tortilla chips. They did change the packaging this time around. Um, so I almost missed them. I was looking for the old packaging. Um, but these are my personal favorite and so we picked some of those up. This is a new find, or not a new find, they've had it for a while, but new to us. So many um, other YouTubers have raved and raved about this Jack's um, Organic Salsa. It is medium, so I got this mainly for my husband. I will try it as well, but he likes things a little bit spicier and I know for sure my kids will not eat that. So it's gonna be me and the hubs on the salsa for sure. I got some bell peppers to have some veggies in the house and for meal prepping and whatnot. I got some organic rainbow carrots um, just to keep things interesting. A lot of times I do buy baby carrots, um, but I've heard some not so great things about how they peel them. So we're going to use these ones. I'll cut them up myself. And also I'm going to be making some meals that don't require baby carrots, but like sliced carrots. So I just got the bag and I'm just going to do the work myself this time. We got some organic strawberries. These will be gone probably by tomorrow. I got some eggs. I only got one pack this time because I have purchased um, eggs at both Aldi, or uh, yeah, Aldi and Target recently um, because they had eggs on sale and so I picked some up. And so I just don't need quite as many because there are a few still left in my fridge. Got some bread to make lunches. The kids are back in school now, so I'm packing three sandwiches out the door pretty much every single weekday. Got some of the Hillshire Farm Naturals Honey Roasted Ham. Also for sandwiches. And I will just chop some up and throw it in eggs when I make scrambled eggs too. Sometimes I do that for dinner when I am feeling particularly not like cooking. I got some Stroop waffles because they're delicious and my mother-in-law agreed to share this pack with me so technically those are from her, not me. But nobody needs to know except all of the internet apparently. 
We got some Zone Perfect Protein Bars. This is the Fudge Graham flavor and the Chocolate Peanut Butter flavor. We got some of the Organic Triscuits. These are just the original flavor. There's four boxes in here. And we will use those to make homemade Lunchables for the kids to take to school. And then, of course, the Hubs just like to snack on those. And then, last but not least, we got our ridiculous amount of pouches. We have organic applesauce pouches, and we have two boxes of the organic fruit and vegetable pouches. These are great to give my daughter because she still likes the pouches a lot. These are the apple, strawberry, and yellow carrot flavor, and also the apple, mango, and yellow carrot peach flavor. Very exciting stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, that is all that I bought at Costco. Some of you are thinking this is probably a lot, and some of you are going, Mare, really? I can't believe you didn't buy anything else. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment down below of any of the things that you love at Costco, especially the things that are new or that you just think I should try. And until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I'll talk to you soon.